Katy Perry Sweet Treats was the most controversial pack released for The Sims 3. While it's hard to defend this pack against the regular Sims 3 players, not only because of its hard to fit in theme but also the higher than normal price of 30 American dollars on release, compared to the usual $20 for a staff pack, this pack had something special to it. It was a well done digital tribute to Katy Perry. The build by objects in the pack are not closely related to Katy Perry's persona. It's a set of candy themed furniture that could give you diabetes by just looking at them. And it came with the pack by simply fitting the sweet treats theme. But create a sim content is what makes this pack worth taking another look at. This time capsule is full of great real life Katy Perry references, being the perfect content for Katy Perry fans playing The Sims 3 back in 2012. Many of the Create a Sim assets were inspired by then recently concluded California Dreams Tour, such as this iconic spinning lollipop dress. There were also these dresses, taken straight from the singer's stage wardrobe. In addition to the tour inspired outfits, there were also a few pieces inspired by general life performances, such as this pink and blue glittery outfit she wore while performing California Girls with Snoop Dogg. the white latex suit with a slight Christmas reference from a holiday performance, and the red sparkly dress she wore while performing a tribute to the US troops. There are three outfits inspired by Katie's red carpet appearances. The blue latex dress that she wore frequently on various occasions, the elegant outfit that would be appropriate for Sims even outside of Katy Perry's universe, and the vinyl record outfit that references Katy Perry's breaking records at the time. Let's just ignore the fact that the Latin alphabet is used instead of Simlish. The pack included two outfits from the California Girls music video. Another signature dress that half of the girls in the United States wore for Halloween at some point, and the cookie scout uniform. Masculine Sims also received a tiny piece of clothing, the outfit that male dancers wore at the California Dreams Tour. Even though this pack is not everyone's cup of tea, it can't be denied that creating these assets required the research of the topic, and the results don't disappoint within the given theme. Katy Perry was also involved in the creation process of the pack. She recorded her song last Friday night in Simlish. And it wasn't the first time she partnered with The Sims. The Sims 2 had a Simlish version of her hit song Hot and Cold. And The Sims 3 Showtime Collector's Edition was signed with her name and came with even more Katy Perry related objects. A big banana, cherry, and watermelon sculptures. A guitar, a screen inspired by her California Dreams tour, and two real life outfits. She was present in the promotional materials for The Sims 3, for expansion packs, holiday deals, and commercials. Although ironically her picture on the cover of Sweet Treats is a bunch of pictures glued together. Whether you liked it or hated it, the Katy Perry pack had a major impact on The Sims series. It was a long-term partnership between The Sims and the pop star that, even after it ended, influenced the community's feelings for years to come. Simmers even got a fun remake of Sweet Treats in The Sims 4. And even though the Create a Sim assets were not part of this project, this remake is a complete recreation of the Build by Assets with the addition of even more custom-made Katy Perry-related objects and was widely appreciated for its nostalgia and unusual theme. <laughs>